Hey, you know what time it is? It's time for the Audio Tech News. Last week, YT Studios finally revealed what speakers is using, introducing the Lenard Quasar system that apparently utilizes some advanced form of DSP. Besides it looking incredibly cool, being wall mounted and providing an exceptionally high end monitoring experience, you know it's gonna impress your clients when they walk in while still being extremely functional. As we know, the translatability of your mixes into the car system and other spaces is totally critical. Unfortunately, as of now, it doesn't seem as though you can really get your hands on them, but I'm pretty optimistic that they're going to be releasing it to the public soon. Austin, I know what you're thinking. You want to get the speakers after getting Dutch and Dutch 8s. Ben, but you don't need to buy more speakers. But gee, it looks so cool. I know. Ah, okay. Blue Cats just released a new plugin called Connector, which gives you the ability to add a dry wet knob to any plugin, giving you the ability to parallel process even if the plugin doesn't have that feature. You can also send MIDI or audio from one digital audio workstation to another, as well as trigger an effect like a certain type of reverb that's exclusive in one door from another door and then seamlessly send your process, process signal back to your original program. It's also possible to do this between multiple computers. Wow, that's pretty cool. You know, I do like Ableton's reverb quite a bit. Sometimes Ableton just grinds my gears. Don't lie. Ableton is your favorite door. Studio One just released an update that's pretty heavily focused on improving mastering. The number one user request is now available. The project page now provides full track volume, master volume, and insert effect plugin parameter automation. Write automation in real time using a mouse or hardware controller or by using the powerful paint tool. Clip gain envelopes have also been added to the project page enabling you to precisely fix gain issues when mastering without using Dynamics plugins. Damn, that's a tongue twister. Studio One's digital release publishing feature now gives you the ability to export multiple formats at once. So you can export your mastered session for high resolution releases and streaming services at the same time. It also gives you a new target loudness option that lets you set your audio to target values of loudness and LUFS when exporting. And they've included a really cool new differing algorithm that minimizes conversion artifacts when your song goes to streaming platforms. It's sponsor time. This video is sponsored by us. Yes, we're sponsoring ourselves. Mix Analog gives you everything you need to mix and master your tracks with real analog gear. Why go all the way to an expensive studio, pay to get someone else to mix your songs, when you can do it yourself through the internet with super expensive, high-end analog gear, rare tape machines, and I mean, we have a fair child. I mean, come on, Kanye West uses this on his vocal, enough said. Check out the link below, sign up and get 300 free mat, which is the currency we use to book our sessions with the gear. Give it a try, you've got nothing to lose. It's a fair child. By the way, we're going to be dropping merch really soon, like towards the end of the month. So check out this awesome test example. Uh, we've been putting a lot of work into it to make it really, really awesome. And from the last video, we've got a ton of people asking when the merch release date is. So now you know, very likely end of month. Antelope has released their new ZenQ audio interface. That seems to offer some pretty great value for a portable size system. Using Thunderbolt 3 for connectivity, coming with 57 bundled DSP effects which can be included in a chain when recording before hitting your music production program of your choice. In terms of connectivity, it's coming in with two combo XLR jacks with 48 volt phantom powered preamps and two Hazi line instrument inputs over TRS jacks. It also has connectivity for one set of monitors and the sound card is expandable over SPDIF and ADAT. That could be pretty useful when traveling. Don't forget it's got great clocking and converters. Oh, yeah. Heaviosity Mosaic. Heaviosity has released a pretty great sounding plugin for content called Mosaic Leads. It explores the cinematic potential of big analog synth leads featuring lush and aggressive sources combined with organic attacks and unique noise elements designed to push these synths into the realm of modern scoring. Honestly, 
When I listened to these sounds, I thought, hey, this could be used in a major production. It's got variety, it's got some great quality, and it's in contact, so usability is pretty easy. Austin, stop buying sounds. You've got everything already. But gee, I want it. Okay. In other news, Native Instruments and Isotope are increasingly cozying up together, unifying their leadership teams, coming together as a single management. Does this mean we're going to be getting mastering grade tools in the next Complete Ultimate? Hmm, I don't know. I really hope so, because they're both really great companies and combined together, they could get us some pretty amazing stuff. That's all for the weekly Audio Tech News. See you next week. Bye.